Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now if you're a fan of the Work Tough Gear Nomad Camp Knife designed by Zeke Minacho, I think you're going to like this video. And if you're a fan of the Work Tough Gear Nomad Field Knife also designed by Zeke Minacho, I think you're going to really like this video. Because today we are going to look at the newest knife design from Zeke Minacho in the Nomad lineup. Now, theoretically, this is not so much a Nomad. However, it does have some Nomad characteristics. So here you see the proper chopper prototype. Zeke has been working on this for a while. Just a nice, thick, quarter-inch chunk of SK85 here ready to do some hard use. Now I'm out here today getting ready to start a fire and I thought this proper chopper would be the perfect way to go. So this is my blade for the day. So what I'm going to do is basic fire prep. You've seen it before. We're going to do it again. We're going to do some chopping, some splitting, batoning, a little bit of fire prep to see how this will perform. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor. Stay tuned. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Work Tough Gear who did provide this for review. Now again, this is the proper chopper designed by Zeke Manacho. Now when I started the intro, you heard me say newest knife in the Nomad lineup. Well. That is sort of the case. When you look here on the side, well, this says Nomad Chopper. And I asked Zeke about this specifically. This is truly going to be called the proper chopper, but by naming it here, the Nomad Chopper, what he's pretty much saying is, well, you know where this knife falls in the lineup. So again, the Nomad Camp, the Nomad Field, and here the Nomad Chopper. So this is truly the proper chopper, yet it falls in that Nomad family. And the first thing you'll notice here is, well, with the Nomad Field Knife and the Nomad Chopper, they both have the same exact handle. Now, Zeke spent extensive time working on this handle to get it right, ergonomically sound, no hot spots, properly contoured, the exact indexing points that you need and he did develop it on the smaller knife so here on the nomad field knife you know the first time getting this handle onto a smaller knife it was very successful well he wanted to take that to the next level and say well what does this do on a chopper and i can tell you already this feels like it's going to perform perfectly now this sk85 here a good thick chunk i mean this is a full quarter inch stock here and this knife is quite heavy. This weighs in at two pounds, 4.1 ounces. So over two pounds of steel here. That is what you want in a chopper. So this is not going to be the lightest nimble knife. I mean, this is going to do purely some heavy duty work. And that for me is why it's going to be about perfect for the firecraft tasks. Now I've learned a few things in time and especially after using work tough gear knives. There are all sorts of different sort of genres of knife use. So whether it's bushcraft or firecraft, EDC, well, there is another sport coming out of, I think what a lot of sort of, and I'm going to say sort of backyard users are really enjoying out of work tough gear knives. And that's the idea that quite frankly, you can just pound on them. So to me, pounding on a knife, batoning, splitting, chopping, and just using it good and hard, well, that's becoming almost a sport of itself. So who is this knife for? Well, to me, it's for the enthusiast. It's for somebody who's going to be, you know, really looking to hard use their knife. And I'm hoping here today, it's gonna do a great job in the firecraft tasks, which I do expect it should do absolutely wonderfully. So with that said, let's get a little further into the details and we'll start those fire prep tasks. And so as I mentioned, the proper chopper weighing in at two pounds, 4.1 ounces. This has a 12 inch blade length with an overall cutting edge of roughly 11.34 inches. The total length of the knife overall at approximately 17 and a quarter inches with roughly a five and a quarter inch handle length. 
Now, again, as I had mentioned, this is roughly a quarter inch steel, which translates to about six and a quarter millimeters. So nice beefy stock and always very well heat treated the SK85 steel from WorkTough. As you can see here, just an amazing patinaed finish. This is a new finish from Work Tough Gear. I greatly enjoy it. I think it's magnificent. It gives it almost a stone or marbled look. Very, very cool. And on the proper chopper here, you can see this is a high saber grind with a fuller all the way through, a defined point, couple of lanyard holes in strategic locations, and again, that nice ergonomic handle. We end up with our convexed cutting edge and ready to rip. So with that said, let's get into the field use. And so first for the demonstration here, we have roughly a three and a half inch log. So this should be a pretty good test for this. We'll check the bite, overall capability of hucking some chunks, and then uh, we'll draw some conclusions, but I know this will be fun. Now just a first impression real quick, obviously well forward weighted, but the thing that makes me the most happy, the indexing on the handle feels wonderful. So getting a feel for this, but so far really good. And so in terms of the overall chopping capability, this is gonna be made up of three main components. First is gonna be the overall length and leverage. Second is gonna be the weight. And third is going to be the cutting capability. And when you saw that test, there were two things that really stuck out to me. First is the quality mass and overall sort of forward weight and balance that you get. This doesn't feel overly heavy and you can definitely swing it nice and hard. And with a good amount of blade length, you definitely get leverage. So even though my strikes in certain cases weren't perfect, it definitely did a nice job. And in terms of the bite, well, you can see here some nice healthy chunks and definitely getting some good clean cuts on the wood. So here you can see just cutting through very nicely. So Work Tough Gear always doing a nice job with their edge. So the proper chopper here really getting the benefit of those three main features, the cutting capability, the leverage, and the mass. So doing a nice job getting through that log. But now let's move forward with some chopping sort of splitting tasks. And so a couple of things catch my attention. One is no baton needed. And the second is this doesn't really bind in the wood because of the height of the saber grind and the overall blade shape. It does a nice job wedging the wood. So I had absolutely no problem getting right through each one of the pieces. And as I mentioned, no baton needed. Now for me, batoning always does come into play and it does a nice job demonstrating the wedging capability. So now a little bit of batoning and I'll show you what I mean about the 
splitting capability and that wedging capability with this high saber grind. So as you look here, you can see doing a nice job wedging the wood open and a nice wide gap here. And that really prevents the knife from fully binding, which is definitely a good thing when you're trying to do the batoning and splitting tasks. The last thing you want is a lot of friction. And you can see based on that grind angle and my ability to easily wiggle the knife, well, that cuts down on the overall drag and friction through the wood. And now another nice feature about the blade geometry, which is actually a very similar property to what I put on my Woodscraft Chanto design, which is the continuous angled blade. If you think about that and you look at this as a horizontal plane, well, as you're driving down and through the wood, this is on an angle. And what that's gonna do is continually try to drive and plane through the wood. So unlike a straight blade on the bottom, having this angle, it's kind of like a pair of scissors. If you think about the way scissors cut, well, that angle is gonna drive the scissors through a piece of paper or material. That's the same exact principle when you have this type of a grind. So Zeke's design, very intuitive in terms of the overall sort of slicing capability that you get during the chopping tasks. What about a little bit of splitting this down across the wood here? Timber. And so there is a bit of a pronounced tip here. What about stabbing? Well, it's hard to say, but let's give it a try. Popped right down and through the wood. That's already a good sign. So certainly not the best at stabbing, nor what I expect it to be, but bottom line is it can do it and do it reasonably effectively. So overall, very good. And with the size and mass, thickness of the stock, no concerns whatsoever. I mean, you know you can just pound on this knife and it will take it. So the stabbing tasks overall, not great, but it can do it. And actually the best part about it is if you do want to try stabbing tasks, you get great lockup. So no concerns. I mean, nice and soft 
on the back side of your thumb there. A little bit of a tiny hot spot there, but not a big deal. Just get your thumb right over the top or full grip. Nice full bodied handle, no problem, and a pronounced guard with the G10 wrapped around the steel, which softens it up a little bit for your hands. Good ergonomic grip and overall does a nice job. So, so far, very pleased with this knife. It's fun and it's effective. And so you may ask yourself, what about the finer tasks? Well, I can tell you the minute I picked this up, I wanted to grab for that finger choil, but unfortunately that would have been a disaster. I kind of started to go there and realized that would have been a mistake. So the first thing on the finer tasks is definitely going to be the balance. A lot of forward mass here. You're going to have to control, but as always, let's just give it a try and see how we do. might not be the best piece of wood for this. Let's just try to find an edge. And the first thing you'll see as I'm planing down, the tip of the knife is definitely bearing down and into the surface. And that's because of the forward weight and my lack of a choil. With a choil, I could balance the knife a little more parallel to the working surface, but without it, it definitely angles down just a little bit more. So you will have to fight the control just a little bit. Work tough, always doing a real nice job with their edge and that convex grind. Once you find the angle, can get some good bite. You'll see reasonably healthy size curls here. They're not the most dainty, but this is gonna be a nice way to start my fire. Getting some good healthy curls here. This is gonna be kind of my tinder bundle, so to speak. I don't really have another source right now. So this is gonna be important. So here you can see some very nice curls. Again, a little more coarse, not quite as dainty as with a slightly smaller blade. Now I can tell you, I definitely have some fatigue. The forward weighted mass of this definitely gets to you after a few minutes. So not that I'm saying I necessarily need to see this with a finger choil. I guess that's not the intent of this knife. However, if it had a finger choil, you would definitely be a lot more balanced, a little more controlled, and then capable of doing a little bit more of this processing work, um, you know, the finer processing work uh, for a longer period of time without fatigue. But overall, definitely can do it. Generally speaking, so far working on this fat wood very effectively. Gotta get myself a little bit of fuzz here. So I'm gonna use this here just to plane down ever so lightly on this fat wood. Get myself some nice little fuzz, some nice little chunks. This will easily catch a spark, which is nice. And you can see I'm continually burying the front of this blade down into my working surface and that's due to both the cant you'll notice it is forward canted but also the blade depth and the weight so a little bit of a balance problem when you're trying to do some of these tasks but again this is the proper chopper not the proper slicer and you can go up on the tip a little bit more which you can see here is also fairly effective but again you're playing with the balance of the knife 
I'm trying to do controlled work way out on the blade, so got to just be a little bit mindful of that. So I'm just going to work here for a little bit and get some of this into some nice chunks in a nice little pile. And then we'll go to the spine. So now for the spine, let's see if we can do some scraping here, get a little bit of fuzz. Oh yeah. Doing a nice job of scraping here. And you'll see that alternate grip. I am missing the scallop just a little bit there. Pushing more on the side of the blade for leverage. But it is doing a nice job here. Get me some fuzz. Making real quick work of that. And just doing a super nice job. Getting some nice little ferro rod chunks down into my pile. Just gonna help to get this sparked real easy. Doing a nice job there. It's gonna be hard to push down into the pile without disrupting it. I'll try. I gotta do the scrape and pull method. And so now at this point with the fire good and hot and sustained, well, taking a look at the prototype sheath. Now this is going to be, I would say, short-lived. I can tell you that I believe WorkTough and Zeke have already worked on a new sheath design, but here, this was the original prototype. You can see they had a little keeper here just to help hold the blade in place. It has rivets along the bottom, a few on the front and the top, and then an open design here. This was a little cumbersome. I mean, you do draw the knife fairly straight and at the same time kind of popping it back into place. But I can tell you it's, I guess, a little bit questionable in terms of just the general safety. Now this did not come with any sort of tech lock or carry system as this was the prototype. But again, as I mentioned, I believe this is already in the works for a slightly different style, more of like the taco style. So enclosed on the top and I think they've had it pretty much worked out at this point. But generally speaking, Work Tough does a nice job with their sheaths. Again, this here just being the prototype sheath and the prototype Nomad Chopper or Proper Chopper. So overall, very fun. I do have to say, I like this blade quite a bit. It performed very well overall. Obviously in the chopping tasks and what I did today was very limited at that. There's only so much I can do in my residential neighborhood here chopping in the morning without being that annoying neighbor. So I did as much as I could to process some wood, try some different tasks, obviously chopping, like I said, the three main principles, that slicing capability, the overall leverage that you get and the mass of the blade doing a wonderful job to cut and slice through the wood, but at the same time, just pound and literally chop and break through it as you went, some nice healthy bite and forward weighted feels very good. Now the finer tasks, are you surprised that this didn't perform extremely well on the finer tasks? Well, this is not the proper slicer, it's the proper chopper. But the fact of the matter that you can do the tasks makes this a much more versatile blade. So all in all, who is this for? Well, I don't think many of us are going into competition um, like Zeke might. So what I would love to see is Zeke give this a true proper test and video showing the true capabilities of this as a chopper. I think that would be very fun. But other than that, for the rest of us, 
Well, I think this is going to be a cool backyard blade, something that somebody could use for a lot of heavy duty woods processing. And like I said at the beginning, if you're somebody that just enjoys the sport of hard using a blade, this is going to be a great option for you. It can take punishment. You can absolutely pound on it. Work Tough is now synonymous with tough blades that can take the abuse and the proper chopper is absolutely going to be there. If you want that nice ergonomic handle or if you're just a fan of Zeke Minacho, the proper chopper is going to be a great option for you. So again, at this point, just in the prototype stages, but it will be coming out in the production line very, very soon. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. Hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.